well, the Republicans say that this is an, uh, well, they wanted this to be an election about crime. They wanted to talk about economic issues. Where did that fa factor into your strategy? I mean, and is that something that Democrats need to still work on and figure out? Where should their messaging be on that? And also Donald Trump. So we talked a lot about both economic relief uh, providing desperately needed economic relief. Uh, our, our other ad that's gotten a little less uh, sort of national attention but really resonated at home was about how our big uh, corporate uh, utility, power utility, was ripping off customers. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of people on the ground uh, say that hit home for me, that I'm struggling to pay my utility bills and this, this uh, company is making record-breaking profits and paying no taxes. So we were doing both. We're providing relief talking about what we're going to do to deliver uh, on that relief and stand up for people's freedoms yeah. on a foundational level. And that one-two combo, I think that is, that is what we need to do, continue to do and build on. When we talk about democratic freedoms, I mean, you look at the polling and I think voters are legitimately concerned about freedoms. Some people sort of read into that democratic norms, elections, the existential threat posed by Donald Trump. Right. Is he someone you talked about on the campaign trail? There are so many investigations right now. I think it makes people's heads spin, right? <laughs> um, and it, it's, I think, work, worth covering because this is a former president of the United States. Of course. As a politician in a swing district who's trying to win a seat, hold on to a seat, how much is the, are the words Donald Trump uttered? I mean, we are not afraid to call out Donald Trump as someone who I believe is essentially traitorous at this point. I mean, I had a top secret clearance. I was an army officer. If I had done what he did, I would have been in jail, 100 percent. No, no questions asked. Uh, and um, that has certainly been part of it. But I think it, it's just gotten bigger than that. I mean, the, the polling that we just saw a few days ago that threats to democracy are now top of mind above all these other issues exactly. for people. It's this cumulative effect of, OK, in 48 hours, you put more assault weapons on the street, you ripped away reproductive freedom and access to abortion, then you, you dismantled the EPA. We're hearing more about January 6th. We see what's continuing to happen with the president. It's just guardrails of democracy increasingly being hit, and that is a wake-up call for folks.